So in just a few minutes, let me show you how I achieved this texture effect on this surface. So if you're coming across my video for the first time, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop an interesting video like this. Now the first thing I did, I opened my pixel lab, then come to image size and then change it to, to YouTube thumbnail size, which is 16 by 9. Then the next thing I change the color to white. Now this is this is what we are trying to achieve. So let me import this. So this was the stuff I used for that. Then I'll change it to 16 by 9. Adjust it like this. Then I will increase the size to something like this and I'll align it. So let me disable this and then I'll go ahead and lock this. So I'll come over to I'll come over to text. And now let's write. You can write whatever thing you want to write, but I'll be using my name for this. Then come over to font and change it to this font. The bus. So increase the size, increase the size like this, and you have to align it. Align it like this. So the next thing you do here is come over to this background, this effect, then copy it. So let me align this to the middle, okay? Then copy it and then come over to you. Now, once you copy this, you select this one on top, then select it and come over to erase color, enable it and increase it like this. So you can see the you can see the effect. So you just click on OK, then come over to opacity, and then you just increase it or maybe reduce it a little bit. So this is it. Then go ahead and lock it, and then go ahead and save it. We are not done yet. Just save it. Then wait for it to save. And once you are done saving it, come over to this app, Pixabo. You can download it from Google Play Store. So click on, click on it, get a picture, and let's import that picture I just did. This is it. Lightroom. Sorry, Pixel Lab. So click on maximum. Then come over to effects. This is effect here. Come over to effects. Then click on warp brush click on it then zoom it like this so we are trying to create that realistic effect we just saw so brush it like this you can see what we are trying to achieve brush it like this you can just follow the paper flow brush it like this like this I guess you can see what I'm doing. Brush it like this. So this is it. This is it. You can go ahead and just make it more realistic. But don't overdo it. So once you are done, you click on this check mark and then you save to your gallery. And we are not done. We are still not done. So come over to export and click on export. So come over to your Lightroom, open your Lightroom app. So once you open your Lightroom app, you come over to Pixabo. This is it. Then click on add. And this is it, this first one. So this is what we achieved on Pixabo. So the next thing, click on edit, click on light, go to contrast. Yeah, reduce it. Then come over to white. Don't increase it too much. Just a little bit like this. Then come over to blacks. You can just adjust, adjust it. You can see that effect. That effect is popping out. Then come over to shadow, and you can just play around with it. Come over to highlight, and also play around with it. So you can see the, the effect. You can see the effect. So this is what we are trying to achieve. Then click on effect here, go to texture and you can increase it like this. Go to clarity and adjust it. Then you can click on this vignette and then reduce it like this. Something like this is not bad. So you can just come over to detail and maybe you can increase it. Something like this. So you can just click long press it to see the to check the before and the after. So I guess this is better. 
So this was how I achieved this effect with Pixel Lab, Pixel Pro, and Lightroom. So go ahead and try it out. Go ahead and try it out. So subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more interesting videos like this. I'll see you on the next one.